Welcome to Cooking with PMQ. I'm Karen Irby, member of the Groupon US Pizza Team. Today we're going to go over two dessert pizzas. Dessert pizzas that I created with the European Biscoff cookie spread. Biscoff European cookie butter is an irresistible spreadable treat made from Biscoff cookies. Enjoy it in your pizza recipes, calzones, or other baked goods. Biscoff cookie butter is made with non-GMO ingredients, contains no nuts, artificial colors, flavors, or preservatives. It was given to me about six months ago to do some testing on and my first spoonful was amazing. It's like heaven in your mouth. Today we're going to do two um, recipes with the Biscoff European cookie spread. The first one is like a s'mores calzone. The next recipe will be a peach cobbler pizza. Took me back to recipes that my grandfather made as a child. Here's the list of ingredients you'll need. Today we're going to start with our peach marinade. So it will marinate while I'm doing some of the other things that need to be done for the calzone. We've got our canned peaches. I've got brown sugar, some nutmeg, cinnamon, and granulated sugar. And I'm just going to mix. This will um, marinate for about five minutes. So we're going to start on the calzone um, s'mores creation. I like to take a regular 16 ounce dough ball, cut it in half, no flour for a calzone, because when you roll the calzone, it will um, stick better if you don't use flour. You just stretch it out. I was taught to do this by an Italian chef probably 22 years ago. Um, we have made all kinds of creations of calzone. The Biscoff is by far my favorite ingredient for the calzone. We take the crunchy and spread it out. It's maybe about two ounces, maybe a little bit more, depending on your taste for it. We're going to take some chocolate chips. We've got some marshmallow. Typical s'more type food. Typically we would have a graham cracker. Crunchy graham cracker. Today we've replaced the graham cracker with the biscoff. We roll the calzone over. You can make a calzone however you'd like. You don't have to make it pretty. You don't have to make it rolled. Then you stretch it, we put it on a screen. I made a second one, so we've got two ready to go. We're going to stick it in the oven at whatever temperature you would cook your pizza at, either at home or in your establishment. While that cooks, we are going to do the peach cobbler pizza. I've been tossing pizzas for probably 20 something years. I don't wanna give away my age. Um, I love doing it. I feel like pizza is my creation, my work of art. I get flour everywhere, always have. I tell people all the time that's why I have a youthful glow because I use flour as my uh, skin care. So we've got our pizza stretched out. We have melted our cookie butter in order to make the it easier to spread on our pizza. If your dough was already cooked, you wouldn't necessarily have to do that. A base would be about two ounces to start with for a typical large pizza, but if you like it, you can put a lot. After the butter is on the pizza, we're gonna take our peaches, drain them either in a colander or by hand, and you will see that I am a hands-on chef. I do not like to use anything else but my hands. You want to spread the peaches evenly enough so pretty much every spot, every slice, every bite will have peach. We're going to bake it at, I like to do 550, but you can bake it however you want. Um, 
whatever your typical oven setting for your pizza is. In about five or seven minutes, it will be ready. All right, so now we've taken both items out of the oven, the calzone and the peach cobbler pizza, and we're going to top them with our homemade glaze. Again, it is powdered sugar, sweetened condensed milk, and vanilla. I just like to take a spoon and drizzle it on. It does not hurt how much you put. Put as much as you want or as little as you want. You could even serve this as a side if you didn't want to put it on top and you wanted it to be like a dipping sauce because people love dipping sauces. And now your pizza and calzone are ready to serve. And now for my favorite part of the job, taste testing. A peach on every bite. Fabulous. Thanks for tuning in. I hope your taste buds say wow.